Greetings and salutations, my fellow artist. This is episode number four. We will be making a snore bin fly. The colors you will be needing are blue, black, and brown. So let's get started. First when starting to make the snorpion fly, we are going to make its body. So we'll first start with the head, which will be a rounded, kind of snake-like head. Bring up a little eye boop. And there you go. There's the head. You make a slight weird looking face. And there we go. Now we're going to make body so the body it's like a regular snake I'm gonna make a stencil first because that's what I usually do it goes about here and then twirls around like that except goes around a little bit more like that so let me erase that real quick Now we're going to make the body. I like turning my paper sideways. But we will go around the body and it's kind of close to that little stencil line. We'll be getting a bit close because snakes aren't really too thick. They are a bit thick. This is also a... um. This is also a, the scorpion fly is a combination between a snake, a scorpion, and a butterfly. Now we're going to have to not go off of our stencil real quick. Because our stencil got a little close, too close to each other. And then once you get to the end of your tail, you'll be making a little notch type deal. Like this. Then hold up. I gotta I made that a little too close to each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the tip of the Scorpion piece, then go back around with the tail. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and erase that bit and make it a little bit skinnier because he is very, very thin. He is a thin danger noodle boy. All right, there we go. There's the body. Now we're gonna draw his eyeball real quick. We should have done that first. Now we're gonna draw his itty bitty legs. Which just look like this. Because when he's flying, they would be folded back. Then we're gonna make some weird looking legs like this. And then there's your legs. So now we're gonna make the butterfly part which he's going to have. He doesn't have his doubling showing, so take it about here. And then we're going to bring it about here. I like to start his other bottom part of his wing off. Um little at the bottom actually I'm going to redo that part of the wing I messed up a little bit on that so I'm gonna start from here 
The wing kind of takes me a few tries. So, I'm going to do that real quick. There you go. And there's his wing. But he's not completely done because I got to make where his color goes for his wing. His wing color is just a little bit of zigzags. Slightly different from himself. And then, there you go. He's all done. Now, let's get him to the... Let's go ink him real quick. Alrighty. color this bad boy we're gonna quickly color his body first so we're gonna take that brown and color his entire body brown but do in light pressure so he has like kind of like a light brown because once he's done with light brown we got to do something with dark brown Get his light brown all colored in and including his stinger. His stinger will be light brown. And then with a little bit of a harder pressure, draw little triangles opposite direction of each other. A little bit harder pressure to make dark brown because that is his pattern. So We'll finish that right up. So, it's gonna get a little, a little weird looking. gonna get a little bit harder when you get to the smaller pieces of them. Alrighty. Now you are done with your brown. Now we're gonna take our black and fill in the outer side of his wings. And you can use a more harder pressure on it to make it a more um, better looking black or full color instead of like a weirdish light gray. Also, sorry if you've been hearing footsteps and stuff throughout this or like a doggy door opening and stuff. I have a dog that tends to like, like to walk around me while I'm making these videos, so yeah. And if I put her up, while I do these videos, she would be barking nonstop. So it's better to just l deal with her footsteps than deal with her barking. So yeah, she does bark every once in a while though, so. Oh well, what are you gonna do? All right, now that we got that done, 
let's fill in the blue. Once we fill in the blue, he will be all done. We can finish up some spots that we need finished. Or my little mistakes that I've been making because it's hard to look through a huge microscope lens thingy. Or look through the phone and draw because it's a little delayed. Let me fix up that little blue right there. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to erase this um, black. Alrighty. There we go. Your Snorpion fly is done. Alrighty, thank you. That is the end of the video. Thank you for staying tuned, and I hope you come back for more. Alrighty, bye!